my god, Sanji Bell's my fairy treasures. Okay, we are gonna work in my altered um art journal. My altered book art journal. And let me these pages right now that I just did, um, I actually cut them out of my journal because I made prints of them. So that's why they're not in my journal. I'm going to put them back in here shortly. But this is what we're going to do. I have created these pictures. I think these are so fun and funky. They are graffiti backgrounds. And it's an old school uh, skate, skate boot. And, um, and the reason I made these is um, me and my husband do bank track roller derby. You know the kind from like the 70s and 80s on the bank track? Yeah. We're on a team... Uh, we're on a team um, up in um, San Francisco, California, and sometimes we do in LA too. But anyway, um, it's still around. They still have it, and um, this weekend they have an, like a um, reunion, and um, all the old timers come back, and everybody, and the and the new people like us, and we all gather, and we're having a reunion. Well, we need some things to raffle off, so um, I did these um, this old school which I love. I want a pair of skates like this. Old pair of roller skates, like old old fashioned type of style. And I did it with a graffiti background. And I did one kind of for like the guys with the black boot. And I did one really girly with the roses and stuff. So, but people could get either one. I mean, they're just cool. I, I think they're cool. Also, I'll just show you guys. I made, um, Make sure everything's good on my thing. I made copies of my work, and I wanted, and that's why I had to cut them out of my um, art journal. So I want to show you the copies I made, the prints, and what I do. So if you want to make prints of your work, I'm going to give you the 411. Okay, so there's the prints. I bought, I got five of each. There's the prints here, and there's the prints here. Okay. Let me just come up just a little bit more so you can see. There we go. So, aren't these prints nice? Okay. You use a thing called brochure paper. I get that at, um, where do I get my prints done? Um, is it Best Buy? No, it's Office Max. I have the receipt right here. Yeah, Office Max. At Office Max, they have a thing called brochure paper. It, it's thick and very shiny. So, it's almost like photograph paper, but it when you print on it, it takes the color really well. And it's a nice, thick, like, photo finish type of um, paper. And pretty much thick as, like, cardstock, but has a shine to it, a sheen, a real nice sheen to it. So it makes these beautiful prints. Now, when you go there, and I go to Office Max, so you might want to go there because you can get the, the paper there. You can get this, um, this brochure paper, and you get a pack of 100. I think it's like maybe ten or fifteen dollars, but you guys get a pack of a hundred. Now, I think I got it on when it was on was on sale or clearance for like eight dollars, so I bought a ton of it. Um, when you go there and you get your prints made, tell them you want map settings. That's huge, map settings, um, because um, and these are just um, eight and a half by eleven. Yeah, eight, eight and a half by eleven, just a regular paper size. Um, but map settings is what's going to give you this nice, vibrant color. See how beautiful my colors are? They're very true to color, and they're very vibrant, and they're very pretty. Even if your color is a little off, like it's even a little more vibrant than you had originally, you guys don't be too picky. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're still getting nice prints for nothing. And it cost me, I think, $0.68 cents a print. Okay. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. I think those turned out really nice. And I'm going to put them in some frames. I got a Dollar Tree that don't look like dollar frames. I bought a bunch of them a while back. So we'll be doing that. Okay. So, wh oh, which one we're going to be doing? Um, we're going to do the girl skate first. So um, this week we'll work on this one right here. Very girly looking with this beautiful uh, skate, skate boot with the roses all over it and the beautiful graffiti background. And this is a more funky graffiti background with the black boot. And we'll do that one next week. So just to let you know what we're doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the page. In fact, you know, I'm just gonna take these away. Yeah, I'm just gonna take these away so we don't get those messed up. And then I'll cut the glue those back in. 
Let me put these on the ground. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to share with you before I get started. I got to glue two pages together. What I'm using, I like to, I like to use an altered book, and all that is is taking um, a book, you know, a regular reading book. I like to use a really nice big size one. This is nothing but a sketchbook that I got at Michael's for $5. And I never, I don't ever sketch in these books. I sketch, I only sketch when I'm going to draw something. I don't just sketch for fun, which I really should. But anyway, I'm turning it into my altered book um, art journal. So when you do that, it's good to get pages that are sewn together so you can go in and find the signature and just remove the signature out of the middle like that. Remove a couple of sheets, go to the next signature, find the middle, open up and rip off a couple of sheets. Always glue two to three pages together, which I will do in a second. And that gives you a nice thick surface to work on. Plus then you're gonna add a bunch of collage bits anyway, so it's gonna get nice and thick. Okay. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. Okay, and then there's one other thing I wanted to share with you guys before we get started. From the Dollar Tree, they have, well, tons of stuff, but they have these wall stickers. And I showed this in my last um, Dollar Tree haul, but they have these wall stickers. I mean, look how beautiful these are. We are going to use this in the background. Isn't that, aren't they just gorgeous? We're going to use these in the background. I already used some of these, so that's why there's spaces. In the background, um, along with some roses, as a final background that's going to go on top of all the other collage bits. But look how beautiful. I bought probably seven or eight of these. And the reason I did that is because I knew, I love butterflies. I love hummingbirds. When you see things like this, the, the right colors are things that you like, the things that you would use stock up because you can't buy these for 99 cents and get this much beautiful stuff and this is just like using um you know your collage bits out of magazines and stuff it's the same thing except they're stickers so it's even way easier so do not pass up when you see stuff like that um i also picked up some more um, wall stickers i'm going to use as my focal points so we'll be doing that here pretty soon i picked up a ton lately I mean, I probably picked up 10 to 15 lately. They've had so much beautiful stuff. Okay, enough talking. Let's get started. Okay. You know what? We'll put that there. Okay, let me just pull out some collage bits that we can put on here. Just book pages, dictionary pages. Um music notes there we go here's some more music notes okay that's i probably pulled out way too much already okay but i do want to you know what i do want to put some of that in there see this asian newspaper we have a place called um china chinatown yeah and so um i always stop in whenever i need it but i have tons of it right now um at any of the Asian restaurants and they always have uh, paper they always have um, Asian newspapers in the restaurants like in the little lobby area so I go over there and I pick up a bunch of um, I go in there and I pick up a bunch of um, Asian newspapers which I have a ton right now so I don't need them but I love those that down there oh this is another okay well I won't go into that I'll just show you another set of beautiful uh, butterflies that I got but you know what I need to start moving along so here we go hey guys it's Jackie all right sorry about that my iPad came on all right so let's start let's do our basic layering which we always do always the same way we start with music notes, book pages, yada yada. Oh, and before I do that, I need to glue the pages together. So let me lay this down and then we'll glue the pages together. And I always tell you, this is like my favorite part, this very beginning part. And I think it's just because it's relaxing. There's not a whole bunch of decisions to be made. 
um, you're just you're just going down your base. I enjoy when I have to make decisions too, but this just is relaxing. To me, when you're going down and you're collaging your bits down, to me that's just probably as easy as like, you know how people are doing that diamond painting? It's just taking, you know, with like a this little pen thing and gluing, and I guess they already have, a, there's already some type of adhesive on the diamonds or the rhinestones, and you're just placing them according to the colors. And it's the same repetitive thing over and over but it's relaxing to do that, the same repetitive thing. And I've thought about getting into that diamond painting, but you know what, I just refuse because you know what, I already do too many damn things, as you guys all know. I also knit, and I like to do that in the evening time with my, when watching TV with my husband. I spin art yarn. Um, I do mixed media. I do stuff with laces and doilies and make doil lace books. I do some of that stuff. I haven't done that lately. I've really got into um, using chalk painting furniture and distressing it when I do it um, and making very like a mixed media art out of it so I don't need to add on diamond painting I mean I need to stop so uh, I'm not going to do it but I saw a um, what did I see is it Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby has a diamond painting I saw uh, I love this bird, and I'm trying to think what the heck it is. Peacock. Did I see a peacock there, or did I? I think it was a peacock. And it was gorgeous. And the reason I'm not sure is because I've seen some others, too. I think, what other craft store was carrying them? Was, is it Michael's or Joanne's? I can't remember. But anyway, I think pretty much all the craft stores are carrying them now. They're a lot more expensive than if you bought, order them, like, on... Um, it's, and if you order them on eBay or if you order them on Allied Ex, AliExpress, but you can use a coupon. So then you're probably just getting them pretty at a pretty decent price, probably. But at any rate, I I need another another art like I, another something else to do. Like I need a hole in the head. So, and I haven't been making art yarn on my spinning wheel lately, and I want to do that. So. Yeah. And then that would just be something else for me to collect. And you guys know how I am. I would collect the heck out of those. I'd have way more than I could ever do. Like the rest of my stuff. So. <sighs> Thank goodness I've decided not to do it. <laughs> At least for now. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm diamond painting. You guys would be like, what? You said you weren't going to do that. Okay. Um, what else do we want to do? Let's do these book pages. Okay. like that'll look good right in the middle of there just to kind of break that up a little bit more um, I'll put a little bit of this right here and what I'm using is I'm using a homemade uh, Mod Podge and all that is is taking Elmer's glue I buy it by the gallons um, you know, that's like $15 for the gallon. I think at Joann's you can use a coupon. At Michael's, I found out the other day, you can't use a coupon. So anyway, and I, I put a little water and it gets really thick. And then I spray about, my tub is about this big. Okay. I fill it to the top, put a little water in it. Not too liquidy, but you know, a nice consistency. And I take a clear acrylic matte coating from Hobby Lobby and I did about six to eight squirts in there and what it does it gives me more of a matte finish so it gives me like more of a matte um mod podge or it gives me like more like a matte medium so it just gives a nicer it gives a more matte surface to work on top of okay i'm gonna do a little bit of music notes right at 
do here to break this up. Yeah, we'll go right there. All right. All right, done with that layer. Okay. I love this. Look at all these collagey bits. Isn't this just fabulous? It's so fun. Oh, I love it. And I've been showing this. I showed this on my um, my Dollar Tree haul. This is how I store my collagey bits. See this right here? These plastic containers. You get them at Dollar Tree, of course, for a dollar. And look how I can store all of my collage bits. And then I just label it. Like this one, it says plain backgrounds, which means I use, I have collage bits that have color or scrapbook paper, but these are just more the plain ones, like the black and whites. And so I put them in here. And it really keeps me organized. They're stackable, so I can stack them. I can take them if I want to work somewhere else. I can take a couple of these containers with me. If I want to go on vacation, it's a lot easier just to go ahead and take them. They're already like this. So, love it. Love it. Okay. What else am I doing? Next. Okay, so next what I want to do is um, I just have some now magazine pieces that are colorful. And I'm going to add these in. And what this is doing is um, it's giving me, because both of those were graffiti type of backgrounds, so this kind of stuff, I'm gonna be putting paint over it, but it's gonna show pop up through the layers. And that's what you want, is you, you're gonna cover a lot of stuff up, but you're gonna see things. That's why you're creating all these beautiful layers. And it just makes your piece so much more magical when you have all these layers. In my opinion, <laughs> what is this? Oh, I like that. I don't want that. That's a focal point piece right there. And I got these pieces from a magazine called Where Women Create. And um, you could go to their, um, their website and they have old issues. I just ordered like 10 or 15 old issues because I was buying them for like a dollar to like two or three dollars a piece. And these magazines are $15 when they're new. So they're not cheap. And I love reading about the women and their um, what they do. A lot of them do art um, as a business. Um, they, show their, uh, they show their craft studios or their art studios. It's really, really cool. I love that. It's my, one of my favorite magazines. So right now I'm going through like all 15, taking bits of pieces out that I want to use in my art, whether they're focal points or background pieces. Um, reading the different women's about the, what they like to create and looking at their craft rooms. It's a, really cool. I should do a little haul on that because I just got those a few weeks ago. I should do like a little haul on that. I don't want to cover too much up of that up. Um, do a little haul and go through some of the magazines. I think I'll do that. I think that would be fine. Okay, we don't want to cover up all of the music notes, book pages, and all, and the Asian newspaper, and all that. You want to leave some of that peeking through because this is all those layers, those beautiful layers that I've been talking about. Um, all right. I'm just looking to see if I want to add anything else at this point, and I don't. Let me look at the time situation. I don't feel like we've even been on here that long. How long have we been on? Oh, 20 minutes. Cool. Because my stupid camera turns, or my phone turns off after like 30 minutes. So, Okay, so this is where we're at right now. We just did two layers of collage bits, right? So when we come back in part two, um, what are we doing in part two? Okay, we'll take a little gesso, which I used to think called Kills. K-I-L-T-Z, you get it at Home Depot. $15 for a gallon. It's, it'll take place of your gesso. You'll have it for years. I take a wet brush, dip it into my gesso or my kills, and go over this very lightly. So you can still see all those beautiful layers, but it mutes them into the background a little bit and gives me a really, really paintable surface. Then we will take beautiful, I love these colors, and I love her stuff. 
um, Diane Reevely. But we have to let this dry. But we're going to take Diane Reevely's paints. Her paints are fabulous. Um, is this magenta? Just a second, guys. I want to make sure I got the magenta color and not the red. Okay, here's the magenta. And we might do yellow. I'm going to take her magenta. Okay, this is Diane, Diane Reevely, her Dilutions paint. You guys, I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby last year. And did I get some this year? No, last year. Uh, they had 75% off, so I was picking this up for $2. I think $2.25. Crazy, because these are only 5 bucks, so or $6, so it was a really good deal. So I bought a bunch of them. So, um, but her paints are so beautiful and so vibrant, especially for this graffiti background like I'm doing. It's perfect. So I'm going to use... Uh, magenta and orange. I'll put those right next to each other and I'll apply this on with a baby wipe. And what that does, again, you can see through the paint and then see through to the layers. Okay. So, and if you don't have this, you can do that same technique with the baby wipe and be able to see through the layers with just plain old acrylic paint. Okay. So I'm going to use these two colors. They'll be next to each other. And that's the key, I think, of doing this when using all these different colors. Magenta and orange are gorgeous together. Okay, so we'll put those next to each other. Next to the magenta, it'd be gorgeous to put the turquoise, right? And by the turquoise, I will put the yellow. And that's how I will do the whole background. And, and then I'll mesh the colors together. And then that's how they make them look right next to each other, okay? When you have all of these wild colors together. So that's what we're gonna do. And then after that, what are we gonna do? Then after that, um, I'll dry that quickly. And then that's when we're going to use, we'll use some roses. We'll put some roses in certain little areas. I'll tell you guys where I get my beautiful roses from. Then we will place on top of the roses, we'll place here and there these beautiful butterflies, right? And then there'll be some more things we'll do after that. And then we'll be almost ready to do our skate. Um, I just dropped a rose somewhere. Anyway, but I wanted to kind of go through that so you guys kind of know where we're going to go. We'll probably have three to four parts of this before it's done. So, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. Okay, you guys, so we're done for now. Um, we have to let this dry. And I can't wait for this yumminess to dry. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, you guys, that's it for now. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Oops.